The Princeton Review Student Survey, recently named Ohio University the number one party school in America for 2011. <laughs> the survey is based on 100,000 students from 300 colleges nationwide. As an OU alumnus, I consider our ranking an honorable academic achievement. <laughs> now, beyond our party reputation, most people don't know a thing about OU, and why would you? It's a small school, it's been around since 1804. It's the oldest university in Ohio and the ninth oldest public university in the United States. Located in teeny weeny Athens, Ohio, it's in the middle of Athens County, surrounded by rolling hills and trees that turn blood red every autumn. I graduated from Ohio University in 2004, but I still pay an annual visit to my old haunts would you believe the bars still play the same music and serve the same mystery drinks for $3.50? <laughs> I can't get enough, but I'm not the only one. Every Halloween since 1974, the city doubles in size, welcoming up to 21,000 visitors. We don't do anything too special, mind you. Sure, the main street closes and fills to exploding with kids in costume, but it's really just a huge party, so what's the draw? Is it perhaps something supernatural? <laughs> Surprisingly enough, Ohio University is widely considered one of the most haunted universities in America. If you do your research, there are claims all over campus of ghost sightings and poltergeist activity. Supposedly, West Green is built on an Indian burial ground. The city of Athens itself is surrounded by five cemeteries that form the shape of a pentagram, the center of which is Ohio University. <laughs> For obvious reasons, the Wiccans love us, and apparently, we're even creepy enough to be featured on TV's scariest places on Earth. You ever wonder why horror movies always take place in Ohio? <laughs> yeah. My favorite creep spot on campus, the abandoned lunatic asylum. Seriously, you can't make this stuff up. Built in the late 1800s, the Lunatic Asylum was a favorite stop of the infamous Dr. Lobotomy. There are a lot of angry spirits wandering the grounds, and even I once saw a face looking out at me from one of the windows. Furthermore, there is an entire cemetery at the asylum filled with numbered tombstones. When I was a freshman, the upperclassmen used to warn us never to find the tombstone with our dorm room number on it. <laughs> you know why? If you did, the ghost would follow you home and kill you in your sleep. <laughs> then there's the story of the dead chick. In 1979, a female patient went missing for six weeks. They later found her dead in an unused ward. Her corpse left a stain, a stain that to this day cannot be washed away. You should see it. I mean, you'd have to break in, so I'm not condoning breaking and entering, but you know, if you get the chance. <laughs> Two of my best guy friends spent the beginning of their freshman year being watched over by a hooded figure that would appear in the corner of their dorm room. Needless to say, they didn't stay in that dorm room very long. <laughs> I had trouble sleeping freshman year because I lived in Washington Hall, where the girls' basketball team used to sleep, before they all died in a bus crash. <laughs> they supposedly haunt the whole building, but particularly the archway connecting Washington to Reed Hall. Right, the archway where I lived. We used to hear the sounds of their sneakers on an imaginary basketball court at all hours of the night, even when we weren't drinking. <laughs> Look, I don't care if you believe in ghosts. On a good day, I don't, but I can't deny the things that happened at Ohio University. I can't tell you that Athens feels like a cheerful place on October 31st. It doesn't. It feels like the Overlook Hotel in The Shining. <laughs> but I love living there because we all like to be scared, don't we? <laughs> yeah, I know, they really creep me out too. Now, there are plenty of places here in Arizona to get your creep on, but I still think Athens, Ohio could be all of them. You should go there someday. <laughs> Seriously, though, 
it might be the scariest place on earth. Oh, and remember to wear a costume on Halloween in Athens, because if you don't, you're the weirdo. Happy Halloween!